for today's show. It's about getting out of the discomfort zone. And a few things, or I should say a few things, are more uncomfortable than what we just saw there, which is genital chafing. Anyone who's ever suffered from it, no matter what the cause may be, oh, yeah. we can, oh, we can relate to that it's video. more than just three people. <laughs> Well, a lot of people have chafing in their inner thighs, and you know how uncomfortable that is. More people have chafing in their thighs. And basically, if you think about how painful that is, if you can think about the, the genitals being so sensitive and tender, they get irritated from all that movement like he was running, and then they rub against the clothes, and it's getting real irritated until it finally, oh, yeah, ouch. starts, the skin oh, starts ouch. to come off, and it starts to Please pop. Stop so, you know, that's really, really painful if that happens. Oh. So this is something you don't want to happen to your genitals. So what should you do? Well, you know, the, the obvious things, try to prevent the friction. We talked about that. You can use special uh, appli applicators to prevent the friction, keep it dry. But you can make your own calamine lotion at home. And this is the formula. formula. You do two teaspoons of aloe vera Ooh, gel okay. right here. Okay. That's already soothing. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Two teaspoons of baking soda. Nice. And then to that you add your teaspoon of water. You mix it up and you see this consistency right here and you put that on very soothing. So that's for Physi after yeah. the chafing has yeah. occurred? Yes, okay. because the aloe vera helps, helps healing. Baking soda helps to soothe it a little bit. So apply it just like that. Your own homemade calamine, fresh. Fresh <laughs> calamine, I love it. Cool, that aloe cool. will feel you know, good. Another thing most pro people probably have in their house already, especially if those with kids, is some diaper cream laying around. Mm. And this is designed for babies in the diapers to help prevent chafing. So it works for adults too. And, nope. and chafing is a great reason also, if you suffer from it, to cross train. Mm -hmm. Because it's, chafing generally occurs when it's the same activity over and over, whether it's running, whether it's biking, whatever it may be, it's just that constant friction. So, you know, mix it up. Maybe run for 30 minutes less, maybe then you hop in the pool, go yeah, for a swim. swim. No chafing in the pool. Yeah. That's nice. Well, it depends <laughs> on how much you kick. Yeah, right. <laughs> or what you're wearing. Not wearing anything. If you're not wearing anything, then. <laughs> yeah, because you know, every time I go to the Y, there's a bunch of people swimming naked there, right? <laughs> Which Y do you go to? <laughs>